If you've been gaming for some time, particularly on console, you've likely noticed that in previous generations, a game could just be inserted and played straight away with no install needed. Compare that to today where inserting a game disc results in a lengthy wait while it installs. So what changed and why do we have to install modern games before playing them? That's what we're going to answer in this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. Modern games take up more storage space than older games and different console generations each have different types of disc. The PS2 for example uses DVDs for game discs which can hold up to 4.7GB on a single layer disc. Compare this to the PS5 which uses Ultra HD Blu-ray discs which can hold up to 100GB of data. Modern games take up more storage space because they have higher resolution textures, more detailed character models and more complex AI just to name a few things. So if modern games take up more space but also use disks which store a larger amount of data, why do we need to install them and not just run them straight from the disk like we used to? This comes down to read-write speeds of disk drives compared to hard drives and SSDs. PS2 games are much smaller than modern games as we've mentioned and usually take up one to four gigabytes. The DVD drive on a PS2 can read disks at a speed of 4.7 megabytes per second, which is sufficient to load assets in real time. Game engines at the time were optimized for slow DVD drive read speeds, meaning textures, levels, and music could be loaded on demand. A PS2 game might load a full level in five to 10 seconds from the DVD drive because the assets were small and simple. If we compare this to the PS5 where 4K textures, detailed models and huge open worlds require massive amounts of data to be streamed instantly. The PS5's Ultra HD Blu-ray drive is much faster than the PS2's DVD drive and can read speeds at 72 megabytes per second. While this sounds fast compared to the PS2, the PS5's internal SSD that the game is installed to has a speed of 5550 megabytes per second. So the PS5 can read data from the SSD around 76 times faster than it could from the disk drive. We could in theory still have games run from the disk drive, but load times for games would be up to 76 times slower than they are at the moment, which would make most games completely unplayable. This would result in large open world areas in today's games taking upwards of five minutes to load rather than the four or five seconds that they take today, which is why modern games aren't run from the disc and need to be installed. Do you think we'll see games continue to increase in size and how big will they get? Let me know down in the comments and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.